What's up, beautiful people? Today we're taking a look at the Colombian exchange, Spanish exploration, and conquest. And even though Columbus wasn't the first white dude to make it to the Americas, his arrival does begin the process known as the Colombian exchange. The Colombian exchange is the transfer of people, food, animals, minerals, diseases, ideas, resources, and all sorts of other stuff between Europe, Africa, and the Western Hemisphere. This process will transform these regions. Clearly, one of the most devastating impacts was the European introduction of diseases to the Western Hemisphere. Smallpox was the most devastating, but you also have influenza, yellow fever, malaria, and native people had no immunity to these diseases brought about by contact. Although the biggest reason for the population decline of native people was the introduction of diseases, remember germs devastated native populations, guns would also play a role in conquest of the Americas and cause cultural and demographic change among amongst many Native American societies. Foods from the Americas, such as potato, corn, and tomatoes were introduced to Europe. As the diets of Europeans got better, items like corn and potato would help fuel population growth in Europe. In addition, potatoes being introduced to Europe as a result of the Colombian exchange brought the world French fries. And in the comments, put who you think has the tastiest French fries at a fast food joint. Europeans also brought domesticated animals such as cows and horses to the Western Hemisphere. And the introduction of these new animals will alter life for many tribes, especially when it comes to the introduction of the horse on the Great Plains region. Horses allow tribes such as the Sioux people to be more mobile, which increased efficiency during the hunting of the bison, but also increased intertribal contact and warfare. No matter what part of the Colombian exchange we are talking about, Native American societies changed as a result of trade and contact with Europeans. The influx of new sources of mineral wealth, especially gold and silver, like that gold bar that was dropped by one of the Spanish invaders, accelerated the transition from feudalism to capitalism over in Europe. This wealth early on would propel Spain into quite the economic and maritime powerhouse of the 16th century. And yes, Portugal does claim land in the Americas, namely Brazil, but Spain is clearly numero uno as they claimed huge chunks of land in the Western Hemisphere, as you can see in the blue. While a lot of Europeans will come to the Americas looking to duplicate the hall of Cortez and Pizarro, the truth is most of these expeditions will not find gold or silver. For example, Hernando de Soto wanted also to find that dinero. He led expeditions in Florida in 1539 to 1541 and came up short on finding the loot. But he was the first gringo to cross the Mississippi River. Francisco Coronado explored north of Mexico in 1540 and Coronado went into what is today New Mexico looking for that bling, but he also came up with nada. His expeditions did though provide provided Spain the ability to claim the American Southwest for the Spanish Empire. Most of the wealth generated by the colonies, whether they be the Spanish, French, or English colonies, would later on come from goods such as tobacco, rice, fur, and the big one, especially in the Caribbean, sugar. The Colombian Exchange also brought new languages to the Western Hemisphere. You have Portuguese spoken in Brazil and Spanish spoken across many different countries throughout Latin America. Undoubtedly, each indigenous tribe had their own language and culture, something that was overlooked by the European colonist and language played a large role in the colonization process. Catholicism was also brought to the Western Hemisphere as a result of the Colombian exchange and the Catholic Church served as a tool of subjugation of native people and Catholic missions were set up to convert native people to Catholicism. So another result of the Colombian exchange and Spanish colonization was Catholicism was brought to the Western Hemisphere. And finally, another part of the Colombian exchange is the transfer of people. And in our next video, I will explore labor, slavery, and caste in the Spanish colonial system. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Peace.